Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and what you're looking at here is the 2015 GMC Yukon Denali. And what I'm going to do instead of going into all the stuff about the engine and the car, I'm going to go through 15 things that I liked and that my family liked about this car, and they're very family specific. So why don't we just dive right in. One thing that we really liked, and this is really important if you have little people like in your family, like little kids, is that the Yukon has retractable uh, running boards here to make it easier to step in and step out. And when you open the door, they automatically pop out. And when you close it after a few seconds, they'll fold back into the car. So while the Yukon doesn't have too much storage space, although you can fold down a bunch of seats, which I'll show, um, it does have a uh, automatic lift gate as well as a window that can pop open. And you have controls underneath here that'll automatically lift the gate, as well as a control here to pop open the window. The uh, windshield wiper is actually hidden down low to keep it aerodynamic. And having this, this uh, window pop open like this makes it really easy to sort of load up all the, the cargo as high as you can go. And uh, you can pop up the headrests here to stop the uh, luggage from going forward as well. The Yukon has a really big engine. It is a 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8. Puts out about 420 horsepower. Uh, one thing that is really nice though about the engine is that when it doesn't need all of the power going to it, it'll switch down to four cylinders instead of eight cylinders, pumping up your gas mileage a little bit. It has a, uh, a MPG of, I believe, 15 in the city and 21 on the highway, and we averaged about 19 in uh, combined driving. A great feature when you're cruising on the freeway and you're gonna be doing it for a long drive is a cruise control. And so this is like uh, a lot of cruise controls in that you set the speed that you wanna go and off you go and, and the vehicle maintains the speed. But what this has is adaptive cruise control. And what that means is that if a car starts slowing down in front of you, the uh, Yukon will actually brake the vehicle and you will maintain a certain distance from the vehicle ahead of you and your speed will reduce. And then if the, the other vehicle moves away, you're, you'll resume the speed that you had and if a vehicle pulls in front of you or starts slowing down, then uh, the adaptive cruise control actually slows you down. So this Yukon came equipped with the heads-up display and you can see it displayed on the window right up there. It's showing I'm obviously not moving and the direction I'm, I'm heading. What I liked about this heads-up display is that you could actually change some of the information. You could adjust the brightness, you could adjust how high up the display is, and you could change the info that is on the display itself. So one feature that I never experienced before um, was uh, something that's tied to this little indicator here which is uh, something that keep you from drifting into another lane you can turn it on over here but what I didn't realize is that there's actually vibration uh, motors in the driver's seat and one on the right and one on the left and if you start drifting over to the right uh, you get a vibration as you leave the lane in on the right side of your seat and if you do that on the left it does it on the left side so uh, the seat started vibrating as I was driving down the, the freeway also if you're backing up and you're parking um, and, a, and a vehicle comes behind you then you uh, will get a vibration as well letting you know that there's an, uh, an object behind you so that was a really cool feature so the display is, uh, I believe it's about an 8-inch diagonal here. Um, it's all touchscreen. 
great entertainment system. You can even hook in Pandora. It's got uh, Sirius XM radio. It's uh, got Bose sound system powering everything. It also has a video with a flip down screen here, which is really great if you have kids in a long road trip. And uh, something that's pretty unique about this is that, so you load the DVD here, but it's a Blu-ray player. So you can watch uh, Blu-ray DVDs in the back as well. So very nice feature. One thing the Yukon had a lot of was uh, USB ports. You can see there are two here. There are two in this glove box. You can also put an SD card in. And then there are some uh, USB connectors in the back as well as behind this screen. The front seats have both heating and air conditioning built in and the uh, middle row, these are like uh, captain's chairs, um, isolated, great way to keep the kids separate on those long trips. These are heated as well, um, so that's a very nice feature, uh, especially like having the air conditioning um, because my wife likes things warmer and I like things colder so it was nice that we also had the dual climate control to keep things uh, the way we liked it. So one thing that uh, GM Cars and this GMC comes with is OnStar. I wrote an article all about what OnStar does but basically it's this one click button that you can get driving directions, you can ask for help, it automatically phones a call center if you're in an accident, it basically does a lot of stuff. Uh, do check out my, my website, I do have some information on OnStar, they had me out there um, to get a tour of their facility. So cars will soon have backup cameras as required. I think this is a, a great feature to have, I wish my other cars had it. So basically when you switch into reverse, you have the rear view camera come up and in fact you can also customize the uh, mirrors to point down so you can really see the curb because uh, this car is pretty high off the ground and with the this Yukon um, you can turn on and off the the direction uh, indicators here and if you're gonna get too close to a, an object behind you like a kid's toy out in the driveway or even um, you know pets or, or, or people it'll give you a warning indicator on there the seat will vibrate and that sort of thing so great to have a rear view camera in, in a car this big there's some really unique storage uh, right up in the front so one of them I didn't even expect I was sort of pushing buttons and I uh, push this button here and all of a sudden the display folds out of the way and here's another USB port. You can actually put a ton of stuff in here. All the cell phones, if you want to take all of your cell phones away from the kids so that they're not looking down at their phones getting car sick as you drive, you can put them in here and basically you could uh, connect them, charge them, sync them, that sort of thing, or just lock them away. So that was a really nice storage area. Then there's also this huge uh, sort of center console here. It's even got little racks on the side here if you want to put in folders. But this was one thing that my wife really enjoyed. It was almost, she thought it was designed for moms because it's a great place you can put a purse and sort of stash it out of the way instead of throwing it on the floor and having to rummage around. A whole purse will fit right inside there. So that's a really nice feature. So the middle row of seats are separate. Um, if you need to get into the back, it's easy enough to walk up. Um, and it's a bench in the back that'll seat three. Um, you can also push a button here and the seat will fold down and out of the way. And you can even uh, pull it up and get back there even easier. In the center console in the back for the people in the middle row, there is controls for climate. There's uh, heated seats, rear seats. Uh, you have a, a, a cigarette lighter power adapter as well as 110 volt plug here. You've got SD card and USB. You can plug in another type of device. Hey, maybe you want to bring your Xbox or PlayStation or, or something like that. You can plug it in there. The rear seats also fold down if you want to have extra storage. It's all automatic, so it folds down. You can do it on this one as well. And in fact, you can also uh, fold down the front seat from the back as well if you need additional storage. So it's kind of nice, and if you want to fold it back up, 
Just push the buttons and they'll come right back up. So my family and I took this down to Disneyland. We had a great time. It was really comfortable, easy to drive. It, it's kind of heavy like a tank, so it feels really safe on the road. Um, definitely liked it. it. It retails for about $74,000, um, and that's fully loaded in the uh, Denali package. Um, but anyway, if you want to read more about it, you can go to my website, and that's at www.hitechdad.com. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Twitter, and I'm at High Tech Dad, or go head over to my Facebook page, and that's at facebook.com forward slash HTD blog.